frankly, this woman in New York, the Attorney General, Letitia James, she, I, she, her conflict of interest is so incredibly severe. Like, I don't even know how this is allowed legally, right? When you go out and you campaign on this idea that you are going to get Trump, which is what she told us over and over and over and over again, and said on the campaign trail. And what would you say to people who say, oh, I'm not going to bother to register to uh, vote because my voice doesn't make a difference or I'm just one person? I say one, I say one name, Donald Trump. That should motivate you. Get off your ass and vote. Will you, <laughs> will you sue him for us? Oh, we're going to definitely sue him. We're going to be a real pain in the ass. He's going to know my name personally. I love it. <laughs> How is it that you're, you're really a lot, I mean, do we not have any any semblance of decency left in American politics? So she's out there. Ivanka Trump is testifying today. It's behind closed doors. Her father's not too happy about this. You know, his son's had to testify. None of this is really, frankly, fair in that there isn't even a case. These are political operatives that I'm going to be dealing with right now. Uh, you have a racist attorney general who made some terrible statements, and we just see some more that came over the wires today. It's a very sad situation for our country. We shouldn't have this. This is for third world countries, and you know, it's very unfair. It's very unfair. But in the meantime, the people of the country understand it. They see it, and they don't like it. They don't like it because it's uh, political warfare, as you would call it. I'm just going to, like, look, of all the cases... This one, at least from a business perspective, strikes me as really out there and actually kind of scary because it's so out there. Because it shows, like, if they just want to go after you, they can just go after you, right? There doesn't actually have to be any damages. Like, normally, in a legal situation, there actually have to be damages. In this case, Trump is to, alleged to have said, you know, Mar-a-Lago and this, that, and the other. They were worth one thing. And the attorney, the, the attorney general, Letitia James, is saying... No, no, no. They weren't worth that. And therefore, you were fraudulent. You lied on those loan applications to Deutsche Bank, even though he said, you know what, you got to do your own diligence here. And all those disclosures were there. And like, look, they're big boys over at Deutsche Bank. They ought to be able to like figure out what anything is worth and determine whether or not it is worthwhile to make a loan based on knowing those are his assets. And so Deutsche Bank concluded it was worth taking the risk. And guess what? He paid back the loan. And people made money. <laughs> and yet Letitia James is in there dragging Ivanka into court, dragging Eric, dragging Don Jr., and of course, the former president himself. So interesting that this happens today, right? Is this, I don't even think it's tit for tat. I mean, I think the timing is kind of interesting for sure. But look, you know, two can play that game. Can they not?